Hi guys, it's Dylan from Bijou Diamond Jewelry in London with another video and today we're going to have a look at the subject of servicing and polishing. Before I jump in, I just thought I'd mention that I'm going to do a Q&A video next week. So if you've got any questions that you want me to answer in that Q&A video, then please put them in the comments of this video. And I'll also be answering uh, questions from other videos as well. So yeah, put as many questions as you want in there and I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. So I'm gonna split the video up into two parts uh, and starting with service and then we will finish with the polishing side of it. So kind of obviously all the brands will recommend that you service their watches with themselves. So Amiga will recommend you service their watch with Amiga. Um, and Rolex will recommend that you service your watch with them as well. So generally across the board, they all say service watch with us. Kind of a little bit like the cars, that it's just another operation for them to make money. However, there are a few brands that I genuinely believe you must service with the original brand rather than going to an independent watchmaker or jewelry company. I think it's very important that that watch, or I'll come onto those brands and which brands they are and why, uh, but it's important that certain watches are serviced with the original brand. Similar to cars, if you service the watch uh, you know, every five years like the brands recommend and have a proper service history with the original brand, so let's say you've got a Rolex Submariner from 1980s or uh, 1990 let's say, and you've had it serviced every five years and you can show that record from Rolex that each year you've had it serviced, uh, then that will increase the value of the watch because we know that it's been looked after. Um, Rolex has had regular looks at that piece over its lifetime. We know that the waterproof uh, feature of the watch should be intact and uh, as good as it left the factory provided the service or the most recent service was recent. So services can definitely increase the value of a watch in the used market, um, but they don't affect it as much as you might think. Uh, it's not a major player. And I know that with certain cars, it does really, really affect the, the price of the car when you buy a used car. And it does in a way with watches, but um, the watch industry, especially consumers and clients, don't tend to get their watch serviced that often. If you do service your watch outside of their um, service centers, so let's say Rolex again, for example, if you serviced your Rolex with uh, an independent watchmaker, then you will be voiding your warranty. So again, with a Rolex, you get a five-year warranty, um, but they recommend that you service your watch every five years. So at the end of that five years, after you've bought, bought your watch and it's due for a service, um, your warranty will be up anyway. Your options would be to go and service it with Rolex um, and that will give you a two year extended warranty. Or you can service it with an independent watchmaker or a jewelry company like this and we will offer our own uh, warranty. So there are a few watches that have quite simple uh, movements relative to other brands, um, quite simply finished as well and the movements are generally, the parts are generally made by machine rather than uh, hand. So those brands are brands like Amiga, uh, Rolex Tag, um, and a few other big names in the industry. They have relatively simple movements and the finishing on the movement is not particularly advanced. They don't use any uh, particularly advanced um, watchmaking techniques to create their movements. Uh, therefore, with those sorts of simpler movements, you can service them very easily outside of their service centers with independent watchmakers or jewelry businesses like us at Bijou Diamond Jewelry. However, there are brands like Patek Philippe, um, Audemars Piguet, Richard Mille and uh, Breguet that use very advanced watchmaking skills when they craft their watches and also very advanced materials. Um, and those watches generally are made to a much higher standard to the other watches in the industry, which is why they command such a high price. And usually that high price is due to the fact that such high skills needed and there's not many artisans around the world that can actually provide a level of quality and craftsmanship and skill like those from those high high brands. So for example Patek Philippe their uh, movements are finished to an insanely high level um, and you know even little screws are polished. Today I was with someone in Patek Philippe uh, London the salon there and she was telling me that she had a visit to the factory in Geneva and when she was in the factory, she came across a woman that was polishing, one of the artisan ladies, that was polishing a screw head that was so small she couldn't actually see it with a loop. So in order to polish it and know that she was actually polishing the screw and not just air, uh, she had to use uh, like a stethoscope so that she could hear the actual screw and hear the vibration through the screw uh, and see if she was actually polishing that area. And of course that's something that no one would ever see if you can't see it really 
well with a loop, you can't really see it very well with your eye. Um, and that just shows you the level of finishing and craftsmanship that they have at Patek Philippe. It's just well above everyone else. And therefore, they use incredibly specific tools and specific skills that you learn at Patek Philippe in the factory uh, that is not really able to be replicated outside of their service center. So in my opinion and Bijou Diamond Jewelry, we always recommend to our clients that own Patek Philippe, they must go back to the, the factory to be serviced by Patek Philippe. Uh, Audemars Piguet have also a very high end level of finishing, not quite to the same level as Patek Philippe, but a very, very high end level. And we always recommend to our clients to get their Audemars Piguets serviced at Audemars Piguet. Uh, same with Richard Mill, their Richard Mills are made to an incredibly high level and complexity and they're also very, very different to the other brands out there. You know, an Amiga and a Tag are not too different in terms of the movements and Rolex. The, the movements are semi-similar between those brands. Uh, Richard Mill movements are very different even to Patek Philippe and uh, Audemars Piguet and all those other brands. So really that sort of a specific watch must go back to that brand. And um, Breguet also has some very high-end and complicated movements like the tourbillons and those are the watches that we also recommend to our clients to go back to the original uh, manufacturer. Something that we find a little bit frustrating is with certain brands like uh, Rolex for example, they just do whatever they want when the watch goes in for a service. Um, they'll actually polish the watch and they'll change parts at their own will, they'll just do it because that's how they feel the watch should be uh, sent back to the client after the service. Uh, and we've had some sad stories with some of our clients that have uh, sent their watch to Rolex. So for example, like a, a 1980 Submariner that was sent to Rolex and it came back and they'd replaced quite a few of the parts uh, like the bezel and also had polished the whole case. And the client was a little bit upset or very upset because that was the watch that he had grown to know and love. I know some people don't understand this, but some clients really like to have uh, certain scratches and marks on the watch case kept there because that reminds them of certain times. You know, maybe you scratched your watch when you uh, were at your son's wedding or you went to Vegas or something like that on a night out and you scratched the watch. And it's a, it's a little moment or a memory that you can see there on the case. You know, it's a way of remembering that day uh, as well. And some people like that kind of memorabilia on their watch or the, that character that it gives their watch. And also vintage parts, things like um, the old vintage plastic bezels, the Bakelite uh, bezels, uh, the aluminium bezels uh, versus this newer ceramic. People prefer those older versions and they have you know, created patina and, and aged over time and clients really like that because it makes their watch their own. Uh, and it's a shame when Rolex just goes ahead and does whatever they want and replaces all these stuff and polishes the case without asking the client uh, because they and their answer always to this is they just want to restore the watch to exactly how that Submariner should be nowadays or as close to as possible. And they say that also they have to change those parts so that it complies with their current you know, standards and is able to provide the same waterproof or raw to resistancy that they can offer on those newer watches or to as close to as possible. Uh, which is a shame because brands like Patek Philippe will always ask you what scratches would you like us to keep or, or not keep? Would you like us to polish the watch at all? Um, you know, there are certain parts of the watch you don't want us to touch. Would you like us to restore the whole watch or just the movement or, you know, parts? They're very specific and they really care about what the client has to say about what service they'd like or what service they require from Patek Philippe. Um, and we believe in that same uh, level of service and philosophy and that's why we do the same here at Bijou Diamond Jewelry. Uh, we have some of the best watchmakers in the world working with us and we always ask our clients, what bits would you like to keep about the watch? Would you like us to polish it? Uh, and that's why our clients always come back to us for polishing and servicing. And then my final note to talk about with servicing is the difference in price that you will get for uh, you know, a service. A service with Rolex on a Submariner may cost you up to a thousand pounds, depending on what they want to do, uh, and well beyond that if they're replacing parts. Whereas if you came to us as a service on a Submariner, including a polish if you'd like it, we would be around the 400 pound mark. So there's a huge difference in price. Um, and I don't believe that price difference is warranted by it going to Rolex, but some clients prefer it to go to Rolex, uh, but majority of our clients actually come to us. Now onto the subject of polishing. Kind of similar way to the servicing uh, basic watch cases like Rolexes, um, Amigas, Tags, etc., etc., can really go to most independent watchmakers. Their finishing on the cases is not particularly complex 
and can be easily replicated by a good watchmaker. However, same as the servicing again, there are brands like Oroba Piguet and Patek, I would also say maybe is in this bracket, but the Patek cases are generally much easier to finish and polish than Oroba Piguet cases. Um, the Nautilus from Patek is something that I would send back to Patek to have uh, polished, uh, but pretty much all of the APs should really go back to AP. Uh, what you find if you s polish an Audemars Piguet with a, uh, you know, a watchmaker that's not from Audemars Piguet is the case can become a little bit rounded, you lose those angles and it's very very hard to create those pure lines and amazing brushed and polished effects to the level that they do in that factory and that's why I believe those watches should always go back. If you want that same finish, then it's so important that you send it back to Audemars Piguet. That concludes my video on servicing and polishing. Let us polish your watch and service your watch here at Bijou Diamond Jewelry in London. We have one of the best watchmakers in the whole of London, which makes him one of the best watchmakers in the world. Uh, he's absolutely incredible and our clients are always absolutely amazed by the level of finishing that he creates. We are definitely one of the best out there. So if you'd like a quote on your watch service or polish, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Our information is in the description. Thanks guys for watching and don't forget to comment down below any questions you have that you'd like me to answer for next week's Q&A video. Mm -hmm.